The thing that makes the Bullis Theatre Department so unique and so special compared to a lot of other programs that I've been involved in is just the student body. They love being here, they love being part of this group, and they really are a family. They look out for each other, and they really do care about each other, not just during a show, but throughout the whole year. My goal for all of my classes, um, just that they have a better understanding of how it's made. Um, I kind of joke and say, I'm going to ruin your enjoyment of watching a theatrical production. I'm going to ruin your enjoyment of watching a movie because now you're going to be asking yourself, how did they do that? Oh wait, we did it like this. Um, so just a better appreciation for the behind the scenes. I hope that they're taking away not only appreciation for theater, but just the the experience of doing something like theater, I think informs a lot, you know, in life, whether it's public speaking or just making new friends or being a more empathetic, you know, citizen and community member at Bullis. And so regardless if they take another theater class or not, I always say you're gonna leave my class with life skills. We talk about theater history, theater appreciation, both performance and technical aspects. Depending on the level of classes, we will dive more in depth into acting teachers and the specific methods that they've taught, really trying to allow students to create their own toolbox from which they can pull different ideas or aspects to create their own characters. We spend a lot of time with character development. And then we also have a lot of fun in our classes as well because art should be fun. It should be an expression. Performance nights are obviously super high energy. We are supplying all the music and entertainment for you right here, right now. So we present to you The Wedding Singer. Everyone is very excited. There's a lot of nerves, especially if it's opening night. Everyone wants to make sure that they get everything right and everything is perfect, but live theater is not always perfect. So we try to remind the students that, you know, you have prepared the best that you can, and if a mistake happens, you just go with it. While our performances are amazing to watch, it's the behind the scenes and the process that I love the most. Watching the students get to the point where they're confident and maybe a little bit nervous to perform and then actually going out there and doing it. They're so proud of themselves and that's all I can ask for is that they're taking a risk. They're putting themselves out there. We can nurture this coming together for a common goal. You know, we are a team and there's a lot that goes into this. You know, from director to music director to pit orchestra to the actors to the choreographer to the set designer, lighting designer, cost, all of those things. We really teach the kids how to communicate. I think the process of our performances are really where the students do the most learning. You know, obviously the, you know, just like a big game, our performances are like the be all end all, but I think, you know, we're with them almost every day. So that, you know, building of community, building of the project and the process of getting to that performance, I think is what the students take away. And I think it catches them off guard a bit. Because we are K through 12 school, we really see the development of the students. I have students that I've been working with since sixth grade and who are now seniors. And just to see that growth, uh, both in the classroom and as individuals has been really rewarding. 